Hello Lava friends, today is special. We are not talking about an older feature that you might have forgotten or that you're not aware anymore. Today I'll show you the new context feature here. Because I feel like this will be the perfect Lava jam soon, so I save you and myself some time and I'll show it you right away. Follow me. Today I want to cover a specific use case when we talk about the context feature, but let's briefly go through the basics again, just so we're on the same page. So how does it work? So context, mostly you will use it inside a middleware like here, and you can add something to the current context, like for example, the URL the user used to enter this application. So this request was being triggered by this URL. And then wherever in your application where you could check the URL inside the context, you would see, okay, this was being triggered through this URL. The same would be by creating here some kind of unique trace ID. So this means also for every log message that you send, you will see the context as well. So this means um, for a bunch of things that are happening inside your application, you now know this was connected to this trace ID, which we are setting here at the beginning of the request in this middleware. So to sum it up again, you can store something inside the context and this will be shared throughout the whole request and it will also be shared with jobs and commands. So in your whole request and everything that happens from your request, you will have this context information that can help you. Okay, but today we want to do something differently. We want to publish a podcast and I want to show you a specific use case for the new context feature. All right, let's take a look how this works here. On the left, I have PHP Storm and on the right, I have Ray because we're going to output some log information here. So this is my podcast URL, which you've seen where we're going to push the publish podcast button. And this will trigger this one here, which is connected to a published controller. But first it goes through this add context middleware. Let's take a look what this does here. I'm using a custom helper here I've created called log current config local where I'm just providing the current file. And what this does is it will just info out here the current local which is set in my config. So by default, I think we can directly go here. This is set to English. Better check out my environment file. Yeah, the app local is set to English by default here. But what we are going to do here is inside my middleware is I'm going to check for the preferred language which is part of the request, which is an HTTP header that comes with the request from my browser. And it gives me the my user's local, which in my case is German in this browser here. So this means we should set this to German here. But first, let's take a look. We are adding this to the context. So we want to make sure we have this local here stored inside the context. And then we are setting this here for the whole application. So basically I'm just telling the application, hey, this user wants to use German as the preferred language, so let's save this. So everything in my application that is checking for the language inside the configuration will now have this new language. Back then after the middleware, we go to this publish podcast controller. Again, I'm logging out the current local which we're using. Um, which we need for debugging, and I'm then dispatching here a new publish podcast job. And then we're returning back. But let's take a look at the job here. All right, again, I'm logging here the current local, which is stored in the configuration, and then I'm sending here a new notification with a new podcast published notification. I guess we'll just run it and let's see what happens. Oh, and one thing here, I'm listening here to the queue. Let's just refresh this because we are dispatching our job. This is being running inside the queue. Okay, let's publish this. Okay, we don't see anything here, but let's go back here. And a few things are happening here on the right side. Let's make this a little bit bigger. All right, so inside the middleware, let's do this together. Inside the middleware, here at the top where I'm logging out the current local. The current local here is English because we have set this in the environment file. All right, then back in the controller. So the next part here, the local is German. The reason for this is because we have changed here the configuration. We have set local to what we um, got from the HTTP request where we were asking for the preferred language on the request. All right, and then inside the job here, now the local is English again. And below we can also see the podcast published email, which we see here as well, which would have been sent out 
This is also English. And it's English because before here inside this job, the local seems to be set to English. So why is that the case? The reason for this is this job here has been running on the queue. So this means this job is running with a new process. So this means with a new level application. And what we have set here in our middleware, where we have set the config local to the specific one which we need, this does now not apply for our job anymore because again this is a kind of new level application being run. But what we have said, we have said in the middle were the context and I told you that the context is being shared with jobs. So this means we should have access here to the jobs context and this also means it gives us the local. So this means here we can, similar to what we did already in our middleware, we can set an uh, app local to what we have inside the context. And here we get hidden. I think we were using hidden. Let's just make sure. Yeah, if you add something through add hidden, this means it is not being shown inside log file. So that's also why we don't see the context here. If you would just add it um, and with just add method, then you would see the context here with every log info message as well. And we're looking here for something called local. All right, I'm going to rerun my queue here so that we can use the latest changes here. And what we also need to do is we're going to publish our podcast again. Let's click the button and let's check our logs here. So the middle world local is English, obviously. The podcast control is German like we had before. The local for the job is still English here, but the reason is only because we're logging this before we change the config um, one line below. And let's take a look at notification. This is important because this is now in German how we want it to be. So this means now we have the correct language here inside this job, which again is running in, an own, in its own process. But now by defining this here and getting this through the context and setting this here again, this works. But there is one thing why this is working, one specific thing. So if we go to this notification here, we can see that this is not being queued. So let's implement should queue here and let's rerun PHP Artisan queue listen here. So if we now publish again, let's go back. What we can see now here is, let's go back here. Local is English, local is German in the controller. And again, it's English in the control in the podcast shop. And also the notification that we now get is in English again. So this means it's not taking the new language that we want to use here for this notification, which we are sending here inside this job. So let's make this a little bit small. Okay, so why is that? It's because of the same thing why we needed to add this config set here, because now this notification is being run in a job, it's being run in its own process. And again, this process has no idea of this local which we have set. But now it's a little bit more difficult, but now where do we define now this for this notification and this new job which is being running? So there is now not a place anymore like we have here in the job itself where we can do this. And that's why there is a better way we can do this with events in context. So let's get rid of this and let's try this out again with the new approach. So let me go here to my app service provider. All right, so here we have the code. We are now calling this hydrated hook. So I told you already that when we set the context, the context is being shared with jobs and commands as well. So this means the hydrated hook is being run when, when you're inside a job, the context gets hydrated. And at this point, you have this hook here, this event where you can now do something. And what we're doing here is we're checking if there is a hidden key called local, which we are setting in our middleware. And if it has this key, then we're going to set like we did in the job before and in the controller, we're going to set the app local to be the one we have stored. And here we should also use get hidden. Let's try this out. I'm going to refresh our queue here. Let's publish the job and let's see what we have here again. Local is English, but then in the publish controller, it's um, as we had before German, but now also inside the job is German. So DE, by the way, stands for German. And now this means also the notification which we are sending now is now in German, which says, hello, dein Podcast wurde veröffentlicht. Okay, so this is now pretty cool because now we don't have to set 
the language like we did before manually every time whenever the context is being hydrated again in a new process inside a new job then this code is being run we're checking if the local is giving and then we're going to set it as the new local for this kind of new application and what this then means like here in our example that notifications or other services where you use the local are now using the correct one. So I hope that with this example I could show you how powerful the context is, especially with those given hooks. Um, they are called, by the way, events. And we were talking about the hydrated event today, but there is also one for dehydrating that you can check out as well. So make sure to check the official documentation to see what this new feature can do for you. Have you used it already? Please let me know in the comments about your use cases. Have fun. Bye.